Hi Rachel, my name is Dawn Thomas and I'm from Belton, Missouri and I know I can cook, so I think I should be on your show. Tonight I'm going to show you my recipe for chicken splot pie. That's right, I said splot. Because the first time I made it for a friend of mine when she had her baby, she loved it so much that she wanted to have it again when she came over to our house for dinner. So her and her family came over to our house for dinner and I stupidly tried to get it out of the oven with one oven mitt and it went splot. We're not going to do that today, we're going to do it right. So today I'm going to start out by turning on my oven to, let's see, 375. While I'm going to let the oven heat up, I'm going to put my butter, lots of butter, because we're making enough to feed a crowd. We're making a huge pot pie. It's going to go in this pan, which is the pan I dropped, as a matter of fact. So we're going to put in two sticks of butter, and again, it's going to be in there, so it's, you know, it's not too much. It's going to be spread out. What we're going to do is we're going to make a roux, Rachel. You all know what a roux is, because we've all done it. Okay, we're going to turn that on about medium. While that's melting, I'm going to come over here and finish chopping my onions. We're just gonna dice up these onions real fine. They don't have to be perfect. This is just to give the roux some flavor. And I'm all about the onions. You'll ask anybody in my house and you know, my kids don't like onions, but I use them in everything and they don't care. You know, just so long as they can't see them. Oh, if you could smell these onions in here, they are so good. We're going to let this uh, cook a little bit more while I'm going to cut the rest of our chicken. As you can see, I've diced up a whole bunch. I just baked this yesterday. I put some Old Bay on it and some Herbes de Provence. And I'm just going to cut up the last three pieces here. I'm not going to be real exact. Some of them are going to be smaller than others. Some of them are going to be bigger than others. But lots of chicken. We have lots of people eating tonight. So this is six pounds of chicken that I baked up yesterday and put in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. It makes it a lot easier to cut when it's not hot. And it's also less work that I have to do the day of whenever we're having, you know, dinner. Okay, we've got all of our chicken cut up and I'm gonna dump it into this huge bowl that I have. This is a 42 cup bowl. As you can see, the chicken fills it halfway up almost. And through the magic of television, I steamed some vegetables earlier. These little steam bags are wonderful. They're even better when you can get them open when your hands don't have chicken all over them. There we go. So I'm just gonna put my vegetables in there. I did um, three pounds of broccoli and steam that up in the microwave. And I did two pounds of carrots. Don't you love the way I cut them? No, I just opened up the package. They were already pre-cut. That's another time saver right there. Okay. Our onions are looking almost done. I'm going to just give this a, a rough stir to get all the vegetables and the chicken mixed in. And we're going to go back over here and finish our roux. You can see the onions have gotten almost translucent, so they're ready for our flour. And I'm just going to pour the flour in. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit. We need to cook the flour for about a minute so that it doesn't um, taste real bad. Stir this up real good. I've got some uh, chicken stock ready to go that some woman made that's real convenient. All I have to do is open it up. She did all the work for me. Thanks, Rach.
I'm going to add about half of it. Oh, let's add all of it. <laughs> We're going to stir it up. This is when you probably want to whisk. You can see it getting thicker. I'm going to pour some milk in here. Tonight I happen to have raw milk fresh from the farm, but you can use any kind. At home I normally use um, skim milk because that's what we buy and we use it all the time. But you can use half and half, you can use 2%, you can use 1%, whatever kind you and your family use works just great. Let's turn the oven off. Now we're going to take this over and pour it right in our huge bowl. Got to make sure you get it all. later for the maid to clean. Of course, I'm the maid, so, you know. Now we're going to stir this up. There's a lot of action going on in this bowl, so you're going to have to get your elbow grease in there because it is a lot of stuff going on in here. If this were meatloaf, I'd get my hands in there, but that roux's a little hot. I'm not putting my hands in there. Okay, we are all mixed up and ready to go. Let me bring my handy dandy pan over here. <coughs> and we are just going to dump. Get it all out. Get all the... Okay. Now doesn't that look really good? Now tonight we're making chicken pot pie, so I'm going to put crust on top of here. But at home, if you want to just add noodles to it or eat it like it is, you can do that. Well, I could lie and tell you that I slaved over making pie crust, but that's something that my mom knew how to do, and I just never got the hang of, so Pillsbury did it for me. So I'm just going to open it. Just open it up. And, you know, this is round, and my pan is square, so I'm just going to start with one. Okay, we got our last crust going on top here, and we're going to flatten it out. Now we need to, to put some uh, vents on top, so I'm going to grab a knife. Okay, we're almost done here, putting our air vents in the top. I don't know if you can read that. Yum-o! In the oven for about 35 minutes, and I promise you I will use two pot holders when I take it out. about that time. It smells like it's ready. Let's see. Oh yeah. Look. Two hands. This chicken will not splot today. And you know what? If it does, it's going to be really funny. There we go. Success. Who's ready for chicken pot pie? Me. Me. Okay, before everybody else comes upstairs, I'm going to get a bite. Oh, look at that. Let me go over here and get a fork. Can you eat this? I can't. Oh, oh he's going to eat it. I'm going to get some of everything in there. Mm. See, I told you. I know I can cook. I ate it first. 